Scribe is a Chrome extension that basically records your web browser. As you click and drag, it will record your steps, turning it into a manual that you can then send to your coworkers, which frees up your time if you're onboarding somebody or training someone. In this video, we're gonna go over how to record a Scribe using your Chrome extension in the browser. Then we're gonna talk a little bit about the interface, you know, what's the difference between the pro, the paid version, and the free version. And then lastly, we're gonna get into pages, which are basically pages which you can start putting text, YouTube videos, links, pictures, and scribes embedded into them that you can then share with someone else. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel, but in my free time, I like to film videos on software products like these to see if they're worth the hype. And so if you are interested in that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. So in order to record a scribe, you actually need to go and set up your account on scribehow.com. I will link it below so you have access to it and everything, but this is what it's gonna look like. So you will have a team. My team is Liz <laughs> because I don't really have a team right now, but this is the interface of what it looks like. But if you wanna record an actual scribe, you need to go and download the scribe extension. So if you notice in your Chrome browser, you're gonna have like these little buttons up here and, and there's a puzzle piece and that is what an extension is. So what we're going to do is I just googled um, scribe how Chrome extension, just click that, click the first link, which should be something like this, add it to Chrome, it's free. And if we zoom in here, AI documentation, SOPs and screenshots, this is what you're looking for. So then you're going to go ahead and press add to Chrome, and then add extension, and then it should add to your extensions. So now it has this pop up says you'd want to pin it, blah, blah, blah. Um, yes, I get it. Um, pin, I'm going to pin it. So if you want to pin it, basically what you have to do is you have to go to the puzzle piece, right? And then find the scribe and then go ahead and pin it up top. So once you have it, and so you'll see that some of these are pinned and some are not. So you're going to want to pin the scribe one, which is down at the bottom and you just pin it until it shows up. You'll see it pops up here. And then that's how you know that you have it pinned and you're ready to record a scribe. So let's say I want to document how to create a post on my newsletter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to record my screen. I wanna record the scribe. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click the scribe button, right? Start recording. So go ahead and click that start recording. And now you'll see recording your browser, cool. So let's click and then sign in. And so do all the things that you would do um, in order to create a post or whatever your scribe is. You'll see it's still recording here. Go to posts, then click new posts, new post. Okay, let's say I'm done. That's exactly what I wanna do. So then I'm gonna go ahead and press it again to stop the recording right here. Stop recording. And then you'll notice this pop out jumps out at you, right? So it says ghost workflow, navigate to Gosa or click sign in. So it's got these screenshots where you didn't even have to do anything. And then you have click continue, click posts, and it has basically generated a perfect little manual, like step-by-step -step, step action. Now, in order to customize it, you do need the pro, which we'll go over in a minute, but now you can share or copy this link and send it to somebody and say, hey, if you wanna post, this is how you do it. it tells you it was created by me, six steps, about 19 seconds. It's kind of great in the sense that I didn't have to screenshot anything. So I have the scribe basic plan. So essentially what the dashboard looks like is like this. It has like getting started. I'm obviously not done because I don't have a team. So I didn't invite any team. I'll put not now, just so I can get some confetti. <laughs> it looks like I'm done. So essentially um, you're going to have your most recent files here. So we have basically a blank canvas of what we want but I wanna go over a couple of the features here. So you're gonna, you're gonna have your profile here. You can search, all your documents will be here. If you wanna have a team, you can invite people and you just can invite them here or here. Right now you can see the only people in my documents is me. Now you can create um, a new scribe, like record a new scribe, or you can create a page, record a mobile one, which is pro or desktop, which is pro. So, in order to get pro, you can basically add a desktop recorder. So you know we were doing everything on the Chrome browser. Now, if you want to do this, like record Excel tutorials or Outlook tutorials or how to create a team in Microsoft Teams or like something on your desktop that you can't really do 
on the internet, then you want to get the pro version. What's cool about it is you can actually edit the screenshots and then you can export it. So I'm very tempted. I think I'm going to try the desktop version in a couple months once I've been playing around with all the features. I don't have anything documented for my side business, so I wanna document as much as I can on Chrome before I start paying for the monthly version, but I kinda of think this is an amazing deal. So I'm going to try it out at some point. Let me zoom out. I'm going to do the $23 user per month plan because I'm going to start documenting everything within my business and I want to start it now, but I just want to wait like a couple more weeks when I get back. I'm going to Japan and out of the country, so I don't want to do everything right now. But for $23 for just me to go ahead and document everything on my desktop and on on my user on my um, web browser, that's like pretty good. Um, and you'll see, we'll go over pages in a second because I wanna start making what are called SOPs, which are um, basically standard operating procedures <laughs> because that is, you wanna start documenting everything. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, so if we go back, I'm gonna keep the free plan for now because I wanna show you exactly how um, some of the pages work. So this is where you start getting into the bread and butter of Scribe. So if we go into a page, you can go ahead and press create page here. And that's what I did. So I made this about 20 minutes ago because I want to start documenting everything. And if I zoom out a little bit, it's basically like a page. It's an SOP. It's, you know, standard operating procedure. How does, th how do things work? So posting newsletters on ghost.org. Maybe I want to have somebody in my business come in and post a newsletter for me. And I want to document it so I remember exactly how I did it. So we can basically add text and all this stuff. So if you go into edit, you can embed videos, text, and it's basically like Notion where it's a backslash. So you can do a backslash text, add a scribe, header, bulleted list. Now it's pretty limited. There's images. I mean, it's got all the essentials, but there's nothing crazy in here. You also can use markdown, which is basically you can do this um, hash and then a space or double ash space triple hash, space, whatever you want to do. Um, but I kind of like it. And so what I will do here is now you can embed that scribe that we've recorded. So we can do a backslash and we can grab the scribe, add a scribe, and then search for it, the ghost workflow. And then I can share, shareable with link, just so that anyone with this link can use it. And now you have posting a newsletter, and let's press done so we can see what it looks like. Posting newsletters on ghost.org, in the post section of ghost.org, blah, blah, blah. So you have a little description and then you click on that and there's a whole workflow of how to do it. Navigate to here, click here, click continue, click post. And it's like perfect little, everything's encompassed. There's a manual, there's a video, there's this. And I would love to make every single thing I do for my little small business, I would love to be able to make these and post these all on my scribe thing and invite people as my business grows. I've also been using this at work. So I have a work account as well because I'm starting to realize the <laughs> importance of documenting your work. So I've been using this at Intel to document all kinds of procedures that we do that everyone kind of like forgets about and then nobody writes down. So that's kind of how I started to find the software. And now I'm like, ooh, I could use this in my side business as well. I think if you were in charge of training or onboarding employees or just a general manager, this free software can be very useful because you can free up some time by sending them links to scribes or manuals without having to screenshot and send it in Teams. I know. I know there's other people out there that do this too, where I literally screenshot and I send it to people in Teams, in Microsoft Teams, and I'm like, you do this and then screenshot and then this. This is much easier to just record your screen and send the link. I do believe the desktop app will be very, very cool and I'm excited to try it out, but let me know if you guys try it before me and leave a comment below. Now you notice I mentioned Ghost throughout this video, which is basically my blogging platform where I host my newsletter and I have my website on there. So I will link up here a video on how an introduction or basics of ghost.org and how to get it set up and everything in case you want to set up your own newsletter and all that. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.